What I want to do now is to uh, hand over to Alicia Sorretto. Alicia's our wonderful Executive Officer uh, at the District Council of Victoria, and uh, she's going to announce some very special uh, prizes that we're awarding this evening. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Peter. And I'm so excited to be able to announce these awards tonight. The first award we're going to announce is the Lynette Russell Prize for First People's History in Schools. This prize is awarded based on a project that displays knowledge, engagement and creativity. And it was established by Professor Lynette Russell AM and the History Council of Victoria to encourage creative engagement and deeper knowledge of a wider number of primary and secondary school students in this area. Without further ado, the 2023 and inaugural winner of this prize is the Bairnsdale West Primary School. The judges commented that this entry was a whole school effort by the Bairnsdale, by Bairnsdale West with a great deal of substance, a sustained effort that was built into the school year and a deep engagement with local Indigenous peoples and creative material. The project focused on the theme of reconciliation with references to the voice referendum of 2023. It had a diversity of outcomes in terms of a brochure with significant First Nations history elements, classroom activities outcomes, stickers and a public event with singing in both English and First Nations languages. It was advertised through press and two radio programs to involve the whole of Bansdale. It also engaged with Gunai Kurnai elders. Overall, the application had a great deal of substance, revealed a sustained effort that was built into the school year, a deep engagement with local Indigenous people and creative material. And as you might imagine, the school was delighted and responded that everyone was really excited by the news, particularly because so many people had been involved in their journey. At Bairnsdale West Primary School, they said, we are proud to receive this award and we remain committed to teaching the true history of Australia and acknowledge that it is an important part of reconciliation. Our local Aboriginal people, the Gunai Kurnai and their history should be celebrated and we will continue to work closely with local Koori groups to inform our school community about this. Our motivation is to have a positive influence in the wider community by helping others to understand the ongoing impact of colonisation on First Nations peoples. So a huge congratulations to Bairnsdale West Primary School for winning the Lynette Russell Prize for First Peoples History in Schools. The next prize I get to award is the Jane Hanson Prize for History Advocacy. This prize was established by Jane Hanson AO and the History Council of Victoria in 2020 to recognise the efforts of a group or individual that has advocated for the value of history, the work of historians and or the importance of an education in history. The judges were impressed by the breadth of applications and the depth of applicants advocacy and engagement with a range of forms of history and practice. And we note that was, it was a particularly strong field of contenders this year. We first want to announce a highly content, commended entrant, Lorraine Stokes. The judges highly commend the outstanding work of Lorraine Stokes. She has a strong record of history advocacy and demonstrates great enthusiasm in sharing history through engagement with the local community in a voluntary capacity. The breadth of her work from writing, research, museums and talks is an impressive example of, in a single person, so many aspects of history practice. So congratulations to Lorraine. And finally, the 2023 winner of the Jane Hanson Prize for History Advocacy is Peter Simons. Peter has made an extraordinary commitment to the access and preservation of history research, which impacts on history practice right across Australia and beyond. Through his efforts to lobby for Trove funding, 
part of a national campaign that ultimately resulted in $33 million for the National Library, Peter was an outstanding advocate for the value of history and the voice of historians. The judges recognised the breadth of impact of Peter's advocacy, including the accessibility of historically significant sources and research to the wider community. Peter also was thrilled and responded, thank you very much to the History Council of Victoria for this award, and thank you to the Professional Historians Association of Victoria and Tasmania for nominating me. This award has great meaning because it acknowledges issues that beat very strongly within me, the study and telling of history and the democratisation of resources so that everyone can tell their own story. Trove is the conduit for everyone to learn about and discover the past. It is an essential tool for both individuals and the nation to learn their own stories. And Peter says, of course, I was far from alone in the campaign to save Trove. Those who truly won the campaign were the thousands of people who participated in it and were motivated by the possible loss of Trove and the joy of its existence. As historians and citizens, we need to always remember the role of archives and how they help us tell our stories and how we must always defend the institutions that care for these memories. And Peter says, thank you again. I am pleased, I am touched, and I'm grateful for this honour. So it's wonderful to start uh, tonight with um, two awards um, and to hear about these wonderful advocates in the community for history. And I want to emphasise just how thrilled we are at the History Council of Victoria to be part of these awards and to be in touch with all these remarkable people.